In this video, I am demonstrating the construction of a dynamic navigation bar using PHP and data from the ACME database. As mentioned in class materials, we are using the model view control architecture. To begin, we have created a database connection file containing a function to create a PDO connection to the ACME database. You can see it in the library folder. Next, we created two folders, one for storing model files and one for storing view files, also known as web pages, and those folders are named model and view. The home view, the ACME site home page, was moved to the view folder. A new model file is created. This is a plain PHP file, not a web page. The function for querying the database for a list, also known as an array, of categories is created. Functions need the keyword function and should be named to describe what they do. In this case, get categories. Since no outside information will be needed to be given to the function, there is nothing between the parentheses in this function. The code of the function is shown along with comments and an explanation is provided in the class materials. The model file is then saved and we return to the controller index.php. The controller will first require the connection file and then the model file. By using require once, we ensure that they are present and working or the PHP engine will generate an error and stop. Then we create a call to the model's get categories function and store what it returns into a variable named categories. Next, the code will create an unordered list and store it as a string into the nav list variable. Then we add an additional string containing a list item and link to the nav list variable using the PHP append operator as shown. Then a for each loop is used to break apart the array and place each element of the array into a list item with a link. All of this will be appended added to the nav list variable using the append operator. Finally, when the loop is done, we add the closing unordered list code to the nav list variable. Adding all of this to the nav list variable is called using a single point of exit approach, rather than using an echo for each line, which will be evident as to why we do this in a moment. Finally, we open the home view and find the nav structure and comment out any existing list of navigation links. Then we add a PHP code block if needed and echo nav list inside of it. Saving all of the files and then running the index file once again, we should see the new navigation list in the home page. This is a dynamic menu, meaning that all of the data was previously found in the database, but has been read, selected, out, added to some HTML markup using PHP, and then added to the home page. To illustrate the dynamic nature of this, we will open the categories table in the database and add a new category.
Then, returning to the browser and reloading the site, we see the new category as an additional navigation item. When the category is deleted and the website reloaded, the additional navigation item is gone. This behavior, data being requested from a database and displayed in a web page, is typical of dynamic websites.